Hi, I'm going to show you how to use what if analysis in Excel. So suppose you have an equation like this, which is somewhat implicit in the sense that it's easy to solve for y as a function of x for a given x. But if I give y, how do I calculate x? You can try to solve this equation, and sometimes that's not even possible. So that's where Excel's what if analysis can come in handy. So all I did here was set up uh, two columns, x and y. I pick some x arbitrarily, and then y is the equation. You can see it's square root of x squared minus x plus 3, where x is this value right here. And I can pick some other values of x, like say 1.2, 4.5, 4.6, 3.1, .1, etc. And then I can just fill this down with this little square box. You fill that down. So each one of these is the equation pointing to this x. Now, suppose I want to do it kind of backwards from that. So let's suppose I want an x, want to find x where y is 4.2796. I just made up an arbitrary number there. So let me guess, I'll guess 3.1, which is like the number I just had um, up here. So here's my equation and it's using this x. So this is y for this x. And now I do a what if analysis because that's obviously not the answer I want. So what I do is go to from home here, the home screen, I go to data, the data tab, scroll over here, what if analysis, and then goal seek. And goal seek sets up this little pop-up window. I'm gonna set this cell, if I had it pointed somewhere else, I'd click there. So it's H14 and then two value. And I wish I could click on this, but I can't, I have to type it in 4.2. 796 is what I want y to be. By changing the x cell, I'm going to change this cell such that hopefully y will converge to that. And then I hit OK. And it does a pretty good job. I hit OK again to accept it. So now at this value of x, I get this value of y, which is not perfect, but it's pretty close. Uh, I could have just used trial and error, but this is a lot quicker. Uh, and it, there's a couple problems with this. It doesn't converge perfectly sometimes. And also, if you pick a value that is impossible, so let me do this again. What if analysis, uh, goal seek. I'm gonna again pick H14 as my cell. Uh, what if I wanted to find the X value where Y is equal to one? So I, by changing cell, my X value, and then I'll set that, hit OK. Uh, Excel is freaking out because it can't converge. So uh, when I finally get done or I can pause or just say OK here finally, and it's not the right answer. That's because you can't get y equal 1 for this equation. There's no x that gives you that value, no real value of x. You can get some complex numbers if you turn on complex values. But in general, that's how this works, and it's a pretty convenient tool. And so that's where I will stop. Hope this helps you to uh, find answers when you need to do something like this.